Welcome to another free Microsoft Access tutorial brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. My name is Richard Rost. In today's tip, I'm going to show you how to take an invoice, a report, in Microsoft Access and put the words paid or unpaid on top depending on the status of the invoice. In my full Microsoft Access course, I teach you how to make a customer list. I'll open up a customer. Here's the customer's details. I can come over here and click on Show Orders. It brings me to the order form where I can put in the order details, the line items, all the stuff purchased, and so on. But I can also click on this button right there to print out a nice invoice. There it is. This one happens to be paid. There are two checkboxes right here on the order form. There's is paid, whether it's paid or not, and is quotation. Because it could be either an invoice or a quote. A quote is basically they decided not to purchase yet. So I can make it a quotation, and it says quotation on top. Or I can make it an invoice by unchecking that box. Now it says invoice. So how do I do that? How do I put these words right here? That's the topic for today's class. Building this invoice in and of itself is a couple hour procedure. I covered that over the course of uh, two or three of my full lessons. But I'm going to show you how to do this right now. If you look at design view, you'll see that these are just simply two text fields, two text boxes. All right, a text box called quote or invoice. Now, where is this value coming from? Let's take a look. The invoice itself gets its data from record source here, order queue. It's a query that we built. Let's find the order queue. It should be over here in our queries list. I'll scroll down, and there it is. I'll design this guy. All right. The order queue is simply the information from the order table and some supporting information from the customer table, like the customer's first name, last name, and so on. But if I scroll over to the right here, you'll see some fields. There's paid or not, and over here there's quote or invoice. These are calculated query fields using the if function, IIF, the immediate if function, to determine if an invoice is paid or not, or it's an quote or an invoice, based on those checkboxes, which are yes, no, true, false values in the order table. Now, I'm going to delete quote or invoice, and I'll remake this with you right now, just so you can see how it works. All right, come right over here toward the end, and I'll make this column wider. I'm going to create a new calculated query field. Now, if you don't know what calculated query fields are, I have another whole free tutorial to teach you how to make them. I'll put a link in the description below the video so you can find that tutorial as well. But we're going to create a new field called quote or invoice. It's going to be a text value. It's going to either be the word quote or the word invoice. Now, how do I determine which to use? Well, there's a field up here in my order table called is quotation. That's a yes, no value. We can check it on or off on that order form I showed you. Now, how do I determine which to use? Well, there's a function called immediate if, IIF. If you're familiar with programming at all, you may be familiar with the if-then statement, right? If some condition is true, then do this, else do that. Well, the if function can encapsulate that whole thing into one simple function that takes three bits of information. The first bit of information is what is the value that you're checking? Well, if is quotation, and equals true is assumed, so you can get rid of that. And just say if is quotation, comma, put the word quote in here, inside of quotes. Otherwise, if that's not true, put the word invoice. That's it. If it's a quotation, put the word quote. If it's not, put the word invoice. And in my full class, I actually use another if statement in here so that it'll hide that word paid. Here it is over here, paid or not, the word paid or unpaid. It'll hide this completely if this is a quotation or not. This is two nested if functions over here. So we'll just worry about this one for now. Okay, so I'm going to save that. So now I've got a new field called quarter invoice. And if you run this query, I only have one order in here, but if I scroll all the way to the right, there you'll see the word invoice. See that? All right, let's close this up, and let's print the order again, and boom. There it is. The word invoice pops up. Because is quotation is false, See, right there. So that means it's an invoice, and it's paid. See? 
If I close this and then I mark it unpaid, boom, it works the same way. It's another if function, right? Let's make it a quotation now. And there we go, it's a quote. And that's how that works. It's an if function in a calculated query field on a report. And again, I'll put links in the description below the video so you can find more information. I've got other free tutorials to teach you how to do calculated query fields and to teach you that if function in more depth. Now, if you like what you saw and you want to learn more information about how to build this database, I cover everything that you just saw in my Access Expert Level 10 course. We build the order entry form and the printable invoice starting in Access Expert 8 and over the course of Level 8, Level 9, Level 10. We do all kinds of great stuff. Um, there's there's a, a ton of material covered. But if you just want to learn more about uh, the if function, the dlookup function, how to do calculated query fields, you can find them all on my website at accesslearningzone.com. Look in the links below the video for more information. Uh, post your comments. I do read them all. I might not get back to all of you, but I do read all the comments you guys post, and I certainly appreciate it. And um, if you have any other questions or comments, please feel free to, uh, to send them to me. So thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. And um, we'll see you soon.